И если в агентстве считают, что это годится еще... Cufflinks. Cufflinks? No. I got this receipt here for a pair of cufflinks that Ms. Eleanor Norris ordered about a month ago with the engraving CC on it. Does that mean anything to you? Wouldn't be old man Capo, would it? Oh, no, I was thinking of a younger man. Wherever it is, uh, we may have found his shirt. Just found this on the closet floor. Well, I would, I think I've seen that shirt someplace before. Yeah, I think I have seen that shirt someplace before. Good. Good going. It's the kind of pay dirt I love. You know, you keep pushing that green stuff back and forth across your plate, it's gonna get seasick. If I wanted to be nagged about my veggies, I'd invite my mother. I'll get her on the phone. What's wrong with the rest of it? I'm just not hungry. It's no big deal. Yeah, and tonight when you're lying awake in bed with your eyes bugging out, you're going to tell me it's no big deal that you're sleeping either. Baby, you can't let this investigation get to you like this. Keith wants to arrest you for murder. What he wants and what constitutes grounds for arrest are two different things. I know. If, if he had those grounds, I'd be in jail right now. That's the fact of the matter. Eat. Hello? I'm in the middle of... 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Keith? How'd you guess? What did he want? He wants to waste my time. This shouldn't take long. What are you, what are you doing? Why does he want to see you now? Well, he says he's come up with some new things. Uh, new evidence, actually, and that I should find it very interesting. Did you see a guy on the show? Да, я видел, он сидит прямо перед твоей фотографией, Джей. Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna take enough notes tomorrow at the Academy. Jane, I've got so much to learn. Oh, you'll do fine. Oh, now you understand. The first week they say it's murder, I mean, that's when they weed out all the guys that can't take it, you know? You can take anything they dish out and more. 
You're very motivated and very prepared. Think I'm prepared? Tell it to my dreams. <laughs> Your dreams? For the last two weeks, I've been waking up every night in a sweat. Keep having the same dream where I'm, I'm uh, it's the first day at the academy and I'm standing in this long line, right, with all the rookies, and suddenly a few guys start to laugh, so... You know, I start to laugh, and a few more guys start to laugh, and we're all laughing. You know, I'm about to finally ask them why everyone's laughing, and I happen to look down. <laughs> no, it's not what you think. I'm, I'm standing there reporting for duty in my underwear. What evidence, Eden? Well, Keith wasn't about to give it away on the phone, but he was calling from Eleanor's hotel room. Well, I don't really understand what evidence... Keith could find in Eleanor's hotel room. I don't know, but Mama, he's determined to find something, even if he has to invent it. He can't invent a whole case, Eden. He just can't. <clears throat> now, I want you to have a little faith, all right? I'm trying. I'm just scared. Try not to convey that to Cruz. He needs your support right now. I know. I'm trying. You know, he keeps denying that Keith is getting to him. But I know he has to be scared. I know he has to be. All right, Cruz has, Cruz has one advantage in all of this. What? Well, for most of his adult life, he has been in the business of collecting evidence and information. So if Keith comes up and concocts some kind of evidence about him, I'm sure he can counteract it somehow. Well, if he doesn't, I will. Mama, I'm not about ready to let him go to jail, no matter what. I don't know, 15 and a half, 32, 33. It looks like your size to me. You found this in Eleanor's apartment? Yeah, hey, sure did. I figured you kept it there for those, you know, long nights you spent sort of boning up on uh, hard cases because I, I know how demanding the job can be. I mean, you're not going to deny that this is, uh, this is the same shirt that's in the picture. Well, obviously it's the same shirt. Well, fantastic. You admit you kept your shirt in her apartment. So? So what was it doing there? Well, I don't know. I assume she took it from my place. Without your knowing it? Absolutely without my knowledge. I, why would you do that? Well, Keith, we're talking about a psychotic. Why did she do anything? In other words, you think that Eleanor Norris stole your shirt for reasons that are beyond anybody's comprehension? Look, all I'm saying is I don't know how my shirt got from my place to hers. That's all. Well, you know, son, I got a problem here because, I mean... <sighs> I can't feature this woman stealing things from you because all indications are is that she gives things to you. What are you talking about? Well, well I'm talking about, let's see here, uh, a hand-knit Irish sweater delivered to your address. Uh, well, yes, a pair of gold cufflinks with the initials CC. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. These are receipts for all very personal, very private. Listen, hey, man, I never got these things. I, I didn't take any gifts from her. I, I made a point of well, it. How do you explain all these receipts? What the hell is this? I don't know what this stuff is. Man, if she bought this... Well, she obviously bought it. I didn't get it, you know? Uh, maybe she knew that I was, I'd send it back. You know what you're doing? You're painting a portrait here of a woman who is pathetic. I mean, a woman who is so crazy mad in love with you that she goes over to your place, steals your shirt, puts it under a pillow so she, her lonely teardrops can fall on it. A woman that is so driven by passion that she spends an entire month's salary buying you gold cufflinks so you can throw them back in her face. Look, Come look, on. man, I, that, could, you know, that could very well be the truth. Like, I already told you, I don't know why she did wh what she did. I don't know. Well, all I know is I can't picture this woman being a shrinking violet who spends the rest of her life pining away for you because, of, is, I mean, is that a woman... Who, who gets a black belt in karate, packs a gun, and tries to be a private detective. What shall we say? Why don't we just call her a study in contradictions? Why don't we call you a study in contradictions, but you're adding up. I'd love to chat further about this, but my dinner's getting cold, pal. Cruz. Keith. Wrap this up. You and your partner are having it on for a lot of long, heavy nights, you see. It was getting real comfortable. And then Eden shows up in town. Wow. <laughs> the sultry. Miss Norris is sort of an embarrassment to you. So what are you going to do? I, I, you got to dump the pictures, dump the love notes, dump the lady. Because, I mean, if Eden finds out about this, she's never going to forgive you, right? But Miss Norris doesn't want to get dumped. She won't concede her place to the incoming princess. So what does she do? She calls you up, you have a meeting. She gives you an ultimatum. What ultimatum? 
Either dump Eden, or she'll go public about your long nights in that hotel room. Of course, you can't have that. Oh, now, can you? Oh, good grief. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I, I get your drift, you know. I, uh, you got away with a story, I'll give you that. Very colorful, you know, kind of like a, like a comic book. Just about as believable. Yeah. This is your boyfriend's idea of a good time, huh? <gasps> he did this in Tahoe, and he got his picture in the paper, then he had people lined up to get their skiing lessons from him. I don't think it's going to work as well for him here. Hey, hey! TJ! Don't you know that lightning doesn't strike twice in the same place? <laughs> hey, Lakin! Teddy boy! Why don't you come up here and join me, huh? I mean, there's a great view of the stars from up here. Oh, see? What did I tell you? I guarantee his picture's going to be all over the front page tomorrow. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I want you to get my good side. Uh, well, that's, that's the one. Hold on a second. I got something with my job qualifications on it. You can uh, put it right next to the picture, okay, pal? Uh, that a boy. You know, I would have to call my answering machine and check the messages. Oh, hey, you haven't been home all day. You thought it'd be important. Yeah, well, it's not. In fact, it's a stupid idea. Oh, come on. It's just have fun with it. Well, how'd they know it was a beast billboard anyway? Well, I am sure it's on the news by now. Some exec riding home in his Jag heard it on the radio. Thought it'd be a hoot for you to go up there and save the guy. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe you'd like to put that loincloth on and climb up there and do it. <laughs> publicity stunt. Where is your loincloth, anyway? I don't know. Did you leave it in your car after the last shoot? No. I, I I'll be where... right back. Haley, we... Haley, come back here. Unbelievable. The guy is here less than a week and already he's going to be famous. Well, famous or in jail, one or the other. Hey, hey. I can't believe you people are going to let me waste away up here, huh? I mean, a man does get hungry and thirsty, too, all right? I mean, you people are gonna let me starve to death just because nobody can come up with one lousy job? We'll order you something from the place next door. Send it up by carrier pigeon. <laughs> Did you hear that? What? The guy is thirsty. He's thirsty. Oh, poor guy. You should have thought of bringing a thermos before he looked like such a jackass up here. Come on. Yeah. I just got an idea. Would you have any idea what? You're gonna swing by on a little rope and hit him a nice tall glass of water, is this? That's good, too. No, 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 no. What I was thinking of, you can climb up there. You were in high fever? You crazy? I'm not going up there. You were the one who said you wanted to get in on your publicity, right? Yeah, but I'm okay, not going okay, up. Okay, There's no way in it. Okay, so you, the owner of the Rose Ridge one, yeah, okay, yeah. there's a little Capwell cooler up there to help quench the man's thirst. You know where I was when Elena got killed. You have my statement. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. You said you were with Pearl. And he backed me up, didn't he? Yeah, but all the indications here say that you spent the early part of the evening in hot pursuit of the woman and ended up dead. And her father says that you had a knife. Remember that? She got killed with a gun, not a knife. You did want her out of the way. A lot of people wanted her out of the way. She was very sick and very dangerous. But only one person killed her, and it wasn't me. Oh, who then? I don't know. That's your job. Well, we, we, we both know you'd like it to be, don't we? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on! I put myself in your hiking boots and I feel for it. I mean, there you are, stuck all alone on the top of this mountain in a rustic little cabin, just you all alone, those long, lonely nights with just the mountain goats and the sheep. And then all of a sudden, on your snowbank is a beautiful blonde. I mean, you must have been delirious. Here was Snow White. Come to town. You didn't have to share it with the other six dwarves. Hallelujah! You want to get to the point? Yeah, I mean... It must have sort of gnawed at you, huh? I mean, he, when she left, left you in the great unknown for her husband. I mean, you must have hated Cruz just as much as you hated Elena. And you could get them both out of the way with one stone. Oh, I see, I see. So, I killed her and then set Cruz up. Well, when you figure out how I did that from across town, you want to let me know? Well, no, I admit, I admit that he could have done it alone. I mean, he certainly had a motive. What motive? Well, Elena was going to spill the beans. I mean, you, you know how, unlike you and Eden, who were the souls of propriety up on Pike's Peak, 
Eden's Romeo was drowning his sorrows in another woman's bed. I mean, hi, you've been gone a long time, but you must remember this stuff. I mean, they're too attractive, healthy people. They were doing come natural. Just exactly the same thing you would have done with Eden if she hadn't you been out of country. You're what? desperate, aren't you, Timmons, huh? Just because every day that goes by that you haven't arrested somebody is another day the Attorney General might look down here and see that the Santa Barbara DA isn't doing his job. He's fallen down on the job. So you, you wave your arms and you flap your jaw just to try and fool people and to think you're making progress, but you aren't making progress. You're not even making sense, so why don't you just leave me alone? Hey, say that stuff for the grizzly bears, okay? I mean, this is big city. We solve problems with words. You're not solving anything, Timmons, and that's your problem. You got the wrong man, and you know it. Chris Castillo didn't murder anyone. And I'll tell you something. If I can help him prove it, I will. Where did he find the receipts? Well, she, they were in her desk, supposedly. She sent me a sweater. We that Irish wool sweater and a pair of cufflinks. Well, what kind of cufflinks? I don't know. They were gold. They had my initials engraved in them. Do you honestly think that someone could have planted something here without you knowing about it? Well, if they did, we damn well better find it before Timmons busts in here with a warrant and finds it himself. Cruz? What? I'll be damned. Just one? Uh, uh, yeah, I think... I, there could be another one in the house, right? Who would do this, Eleanor? Well, either Eleanor or whoever's trying to get me to take the fall for killing her. What are you going to do? Well, I know what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to sit around and wait while somebody else tries to solve this. Somebody is cutting a path straight to my door, Eden, and I'm going to find out who it is while I still got a fighting chance. Как здорово! Классная штука, сейчас я отдам... She heard me complaining about not getting enough publicity for my product, and she thought, yeah, this just might do the trick. <laughs> hey, well, uh, what do you say we work to our best advantage then, huh? Come here. All right. Both well, that guy's got a zoom lens over there. Come on. I got it. Hey, this Capwell cooler is great. Nice yeah. and light and not too sweet. <laughs> hey, look. Lakin loved it. Look at her. She's grinning from ear to ear, huh? She's got the prettiest smile on the West Coast, I'm telling you. Yeah, I always thought so. Great head for business, too, huh? What more could a guy want, right? Right. Well, I hope getting down from here is going to be as easy as what's getting up. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. You're not leaving just yet, are you? Huh? Well, yeah, I, I got my picture. That's what I came up here for. Oh, I see. The only reason you climbed all the way up here is just for an advertising gimmick, huh? Mm. Yeah. I mean, what else reason would there be? Unless, of course, you're going to keep, uh, you know, drinking my wine coolers, lose your balance, and... Yeah. Oh, gosh. That would make the 11 o'clock news, wouldn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we're going to make it yet. Look at this. Oh. What? Oh, my gosh. I don't believe this. Jake! Come on up! What, that's Jake? <laughs> what? What the hell has he got on? But the same thing he's got on in this billboard on the poster. You know, he's the, 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 the beast man for the clone. You know, he's the model for Yeah, yeah, I met him before. Oh, man, what the... I'll be damned. <laughs> Come on, man, don't let go. Hey, welcome to the party, Tarzan. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not here because I want to be. Uh, I don't see anybody holding a gun to your head. The brain power behind the Beast campaign here decided to be a bang-up idea for me to come up here and rescue you boys. Rescue? Otherwise, I'm going to lose my job. Well, rescue? No. Not I think you're barking up the wrong billboard there, Hoss. See, neither one of us are damsels, and neither one of us are in distress, so you're going to have to go uh, rescue somebody else. <laughs> How about uh, if I just rescue one of you guys? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't even think of it. The day I get carried down on your back, clinging to your... Half naked body is the day I pack it in. But look, it's since, not my night. Since you're here, why don't you enjoy it? All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. Stuff's so pretty good. See what I tell you, huh? Yeah. Not bad. This is a party, guys. This is boys' night out, 80s style. We don't need a poker table or anything, right? We just find ourselves a billboard and we and we what? Discuss the meaning of life. Yeah, it might as yeah. well. Uh, we can't dance. <laughs> Not with you. Well, is anyone gonna come down? 
Doesn't look like it. What are they doing up They're there? They're partying. They're having a good time. I don't know what I'm doing down here. I'm going up. What? We're late, Kimmy. Great. Yeah, there's three of them now. I'm going to need some backup here. I need someone who knows them better than most people. Somebody like you that has some sort of family insight so I can clear some things up. Clear some things up like what? Well, for example, uh, when we all thought Eden was dead, uh, he sort of retreated from the family, didn't he? I mean, you, you guys were often solace and comfort, and he just sort of isolated himself. He wouldn't, wouldn't even come into this door, into this house. Keith, the man was grieving. When people grieve, they want to be alone. Yeah, but I don't know. I think it's sort of strange, you know. I mean, here you were, welcoming him with open arms, going to share the burden with him, and he sort of just shrinks away. You know, I mean, like he's all oh, guilty-like, like he, he's ashamed, like, like maybe he doesn't deserve your kindness. He deserves the best, and he knows it. He was hurting, and he wanted to be alone. At about the same time, I think it was, that the girl we called... Eleanor Norris became a partner with him. So what are you getting at? Well, maybe she offered him a different kind of comfort. And maybe he took it. Ah. Now I see what you're getting at. Yeah. Only a man like you would think something like that because you're the kind of man who would do something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't think Cruz is so different from the rest of us, Sophia. And you still haven't mentioned why you think he pulled away from the sympathetic Catball family. I think it's obvious, don't you? I mean, he was ashamed because he was involved with another woman. End of discussion, Keith. Because <laughs> you're afraid I'm right. No, to the contrary. But if I had to prove you wrong, then I would have to take a lot of time to try and explain to you the concept of loyalty based on love, which is a concept that you would never grasp. Eden and Cruz do it without even trying. You could never even get close. Maybe that's why you're so bitter. How can you possibly remember everyone you arrested and sent to prison? I mean, there must have been hundreds. Oh, baby, you don't know what it's like being a cop, believe me. Most of the people I've busted either plea bargained their way out of her, they took a suspended sentence, or they didn't get some judge told me there wasn't good enough evidence. Now, the ones who did fall, very few of them got a sentence heavy enough to want to take revenge on me. But there were some. I narrowed it down to five. Three of them are still in jail. What about the other two? I mean, one of them could have set you up, right? You know, there's a problem with this theory. What? Whoever did this not only had it in for me, they had it in for Eleanor, too. Right? Nobody on this list even knew her. Are you sure? Actually, there's only one person in the world I could think of that fits that description. You mean someone who would want harm to come to both of you? Who? Well, you know, I almost hate to say it. Kate. You bet. No! Yeah! He hated her, and with good reason, he fell in love with you in the mountains. He, you come back here, you're with me just like that. It occurs to me, he might not know. What is he doing with his resentment? He... Look, Cain would not do something like that to me. If there's one person who knows how much I love you, it's him. And the price I've paid to come back to you. There is no way that he would willfully arrange to hurt you. Well, then who did it? You want to tell me that? If we can't consider Cain, where are we going to start? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But it's not Cain. Oh, yeah. Hello. This is Carmen. What for? Maybe. It's all right. No, I'll be there. Never hurt me. Never hurt me. Who was that? Keith Timmons' office. He wants to question me about my brother. Okay. Отлично. Фуражка. Belt. Uh, underwear, underwear, uh, underwear, okay. All right, uh, well, where were you? I thought you'd never come back, I mean... I'm sorry, it, uh... Want to see my driver's license and registration? What's funny? You look wonderful. Do I look wonderful. funny? Do I look funny? Oh, you look wonderful. I look like a security guard. <laughs> no? I wish no. they wouldn't made this thing in denim. But anyway, thank you for the flattery. That's a violation of penal code number 409, but thanks. I'm, I'm really sorry it took so long. It, it wasn't as easy as I thought. What? 
Well, tomorrow's a big day, and I wanted to get you something. <laughs> oh, baby, you don't have to get me anything. Look, you ready? Uh, look at this. I mean, I'm going to carry this thing with me every single day, and I promise you I'll never forget the night you gave it to me. It's the night that I knew that I finally got a shot at the Academy. Mm. I'm glad you like it, but this... This is really special. Please open it. Okay, but I told you, you shouldn't have. I know. All right? Mm -hmm. Next time, follow orders. Tough guy. Jane. <laughs> Just in case Jane. dreams come true. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I dare you to wear that tomorrow under your sexy uniform. Actually, I'm planning on sleeping in my uniform. I want to make sure that I'm fully dressed. Well, then you'll be all wrinkled. We can't have you uh, showing up on your first day at work all wrinkled now, can we? Oh, really? Well, then, what's the uh, solution? I don't know. What do you think the solution is? Well, I, I, I guess you're just going to have to stay to the morning because, I mean, someone has to check on me and make sure that, uh, I mean, I'm ready for inspection when I... Uh, go out the door. But that would mean I'd have to stay all night now. However will we occupy our time? Well, ma'am, I'm, uh, I'm a public uh, servant now. It's my job to solve those problems. Watching you come up here. Hey, you didn't think I'd miss all the fun, did you? Hey, of course not. Would you like a drink, young lady? Oh, you bet. Here, here take go. this one. This is for in case you wondered what life was like at the top. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this is easily the best party I've ever been to. Yeah, certainly beats the heck out of charades. So, what were you gentlemen talking about? What were well, you um, about? we did start off trying to talk about the meaning of the life, but I don't think we ever covered that, did we? No, we got sidetracked. We're, we're talking about instant gratification. Uh, you know, what you want right here and right now. Yes. Uh, like, TJ, we already know what the whole... The whole world knows exactly what he wants, which is a, a job. job. <laughs> Hiram, what did you want? Oh, I just went off the top of my head, you know, success for the business, of course. Oh, you're here. Success for the business. Yeah. Cheers. And how about you? Mm. Me, I, uh... Well, I kind of was a homebody tonight. I wanted just a house and a happy life. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, sweet. That is sweet. Yeah, well, um, what we should probably do is just check back with each other in a couple of days and see who got what they wanted then. Yeah? Well, I am on my way, I have to say. I mean, if you want a business to get off with a real bang, right? <laughs> yeah, well, well, a pretty good start. So, well, you that takes care of your stuff. What about TJ here? Hmm. Well, you know, I was actually thinking about that. TJ, maybe we got something here. Jeez. I mean, it was your off-the-wall idea that, you know, got us up here, helped advertise Capital Wine Cooler. I mean, would you be interested in making this kind of a, an official basis? Our, uh, are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah, how'd you like to be my new PR man? I'll drink to that, as long as the beverage is at Capwell Cap Cooler. All right. <laughs> nice. Thank you. So, does this mean we can get down now? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. What about Jake? Is Jake going to get his wish tonight? Well, don't worry about me. It'll come in good time. Jake, um, maybe I can't help you out with that new house of yours, but... I have something that might get you off to that first chapter of your happy life. Um, let's pass that down. Yeah. The final papers for the divorce. Sort of gives us all a clean slate. I wish you guys all the best of luck, all right? Thanks. Hey, um, what do you say we bless all of us then, huh? Right up here, guys. You guys all remember the, uh, the Chicago 7, right? Yeah. Watch out now. Well, to the Billboard 5. Hey! Long hey, may we like rain. Right. All right. So you say you shot this picture? That's right. Three of us went on a picnic. I took a picture. Big deal. All right. And, uh, 
Where'd you go on the picnic? St. Clair Island. Some picnic? And where'd you go after you took this picture? I mean, where'd I go? Uh, well, I mean, you, you, uh, there were Cruz and Eleanor, or a romantic couple, and you left. I mean, what was it? What, uh, mosquitoes, ants, they bothered you something? Oh, I just didn't feel like hanging around, that's all. I had things to do. Well, it couldn't have been that being sort of a third wheel entered your mind. Look, what are you getting at? Well, here was Cruz and his girlfriend, Eleanor, out in a very romantic, secluded spot, and um, maybe you want to leave it that way. Look, I told you already. There was no romance. They were just friends before we found out what Eleanor was really like. I don't know. It looks like they're a lot more than friends in this picture, doesn't it, to you? I think you liked it that way. I think you wanted your brother to start living. I don't think you wanted him to be alone for the rest of his life. Admit it. Of course I wanted him to be happy. I love him. Yeah, you were matchmaking. All I'm saying is it worked. Until Eden got back. And then people started rewriting history. Look, I you. told you. My brother's telling the truth and so am I. If he says there was nothing going on between him and Eleanor, there was nothing going on. My brother doesn't lie, Mr. Timmons, and he's not a killer either. No matter how much you'd like to believe that. Well, what have we here? I seem to have caught you in the middle of something. I've been imposing on the Catwells too long. I think it's time I get out of here and take care of myself. CC and Sphere are upstairs, though. I Actually, think. I came here to see you. Me? Well, I want to ask you a couple of questions about the night Elena Nicholas was killed. Look, I've already been through this once a day with Keith Timmons. I don't think I need to go through it again. Well, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me the uh, respect of going over it with me. What do you want to know? I want to know where you went after you told Alex Nicholas you were going to find his daughter. You know where I went. Your own partner said I was with him when Elena died. And that's a matter of public record. Yeah, I know what Pearl said. I want to hear it from you, Kane. You know, you're more like Timmons than you think. He was on the same wrong track. That I killed Elena and then I set you up. No, but why, why would I do that? Huh? What possible benefit could I gain from that? You well, tell me. Well, it'd be a hell of a convenient way to put me out of commission for the next 20 or 30 years. Time enough for Eden to forget about me and maybe turn elsewhere. Forget about you? She couldn't forget about you if she wanted to. And I know, because I tried to believe she could. But you've proven to me you could be thousands of miles apart. One of you could be dead. And that love does not go away. You own that woman, heart and soul. So I don't see what change or what difference putting you in prison would make. I'm sorry. Forget it. I, j I just wish I knew who did do it. Yeah, no, you didn't. Yeah, you see, it's just that I, I, the situation's getting a little tired. That's all. I know how that is. I wish I could help. If there's anything I can, anything I can do, you let me know, okay? I mean that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. I don't know what you're expecting to find. Sure you do. You know, my, uh, Cruz, didn't he tell you about the receipts and the, uh, presents? Oh, oh I, I guess you want to forget about that. Forget about how close they were. Well, Cruz and Eleanor? Well, we didn't have the grand passion that you and Cruz had, but for a while it got them through the night. It's not true. You know, everybody keeps saying the same thing to me, but there's one thing they can't explain. So maybe you can tell me. When you first got back to town, why did you stay at your father's house instead of with your fiancé? It had nothing to do with Eleanor. Well, did he uh, tell you you weren't good enough? Did he tell you maybe you found something better? Educate me. I didn't want to be a burden to him. I was afraid being disabled would change everything. I don't know. I just don't get it. If Cruz and Eleanor weren't involved, 
Why, when you got back to town, would she freak out? Hmm? I don't get it. Which is the reason he fired that shot at her. He didn't fire a shot at her. Good God, Keith. If you know anybody in your whole life, you know Cruz Castillo. Okay, now, you may not like him very much, but you know what he's capable of and what he isn't. If you want to be honest with yourself, really honest, you don't believe for a minute that he could commit murder. Not one minute. Maybe in normal circumstances, maybe not. But everybody has a limit. Everybody has a breaking point. Something that'll make him do the unthinkable. And the thought of losing you is that thing for Cruz. I think to avoid that, he'd take a life. And I think you know it. You tired yet? After everything that happened tonight, ah, that's the most excitement I've had since I've been back. Oh, I see. It takes TJ coming to town to get you all excited, huh? I didn't say that. Now, Come before on. that, it was just one humdrum night after another with the old Teddy Boy. Would you stop that? The reason it was so much fun is because you and I were up there together. When I thought of that idea, I thought for sure you were going to call me crazy, but oh. you liked it, and you did it, and it worked, and it was yep. great. Oh, God, I felt like we were such a team. Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you? Yep. Because I really want to be a part of your life. I don't want your work or, or anything else to be separate. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Good. You said something tonight about... Um, to Jake and Haley about starting over with a clean slate. You remember? Yeah. Well, do you think that you and I could have a clean slate, too? Well, what do you mean by that? Well, I would just like to think that you and I could work towards something, like a future together. And that's why... And that's why I always want to be involved in whatever is important to you. Like your business. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hey, pushing hey, no, this. No, I know. No, I'm really no, rushing. No, you're not at all. You know, we met when we were kids, and now I get this feeling like we're always acting like kids, just deciding which movie to go to on a Saturday night. But we're moving on now, and I want to move along right with you. I want to keep up. I don't want to hang, uh, hang on to you or hold you back. I just hope you'll let me do that. He showed me the warrant. Oh, well, I'm telling you. Too bad I didn't get here before she cleaned house. Where's the stuff? Cruz, come on, give me a break. It's getting to be midnight. Okay, Phil. Cruz here is uh, searching a lot of suspects. I know he knows to assume the position, don't you, baby? Keep your hands off me, pal. This is all we found. We still haven't found out who put it here. With the initials CC on it. Wow. And you said you didn't get any gifts from it. I didn't. What'd it do? It walked over here by itself. Look, you know, it, the look Japanese, they're amazing. Hey, they can... pal, somebody put it here, okay? Let me shine a light for you. Somebody is trying to frame your good friend, Cruz. Well, I'll keep that under consideration. But right now, I'm going to go back to my office and put this in a box labeled evidence. It's amazing how that box is filling up. По-моему, ты хотела с Well, once everyone left us, I liked being up here alone under the stars with you. Besides, you do know what they say. What do they say? They say that if you get an opportunity to be on top of a billboard at midnight, you shouldn't pass it up. <laughs> That's what they say, huh? Yeah. You know what else they say? Oh, what? They say that the man who's lucky enough to reach out and touch the stars was his ultimate woman. It's the man who has everything. Mm, what about that house? Don't you want that house? Well, could we live up here? <laughs> uh, a little 
chilly come November, I think, especially in your costume. I'll keep you warm. Mm. Hey, you know what? What? Maybe we better go back down there to Earth. Oh, no, why? Well, kid, let's face it. If we want to fool around, <laughs> there are certain advantages to being on the ground. I mean, falling out of bed is one thing, but from up here, we're talking multiple friends. Oh, yeah. I don't want to hurt you. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll raise you. <laughs> What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you tomorrow. Stevenson went back for another sweep of the hotel room. Found this. Oh, is it? Safety deposit key? What was it? In the ice cube tray? <laughs> she obviously didn't want anyone to find it. Oh, maybe it's hiding some embarrassing situations. Maybe this key could be the undoing of Cruz Castillo. You know, you ought to really try to get some sleep. Keith doesn't have as much evidence as he wants you to think. He can't prove anything. Why you had to give him that cuff leak. Oh, I know. It's only worse if he thinks you're hiding something. aggravates me that we give him such satisfaction. Well, it aggravates me too, but I... Uh, I'm not going to be drawn into arm wrestling with Keith Timmons. I mean, the, my priority has got to be to figure out who the hell was in that laser palace when Elena and I were. I mean, I could, I could talk myself blue in the face, I could argue till my brain falls off, and Keith is never going to lift a finger to take me off this hook. The only person that can do that is me. And me. We'll do it together. We won't give up. Ever. I'm Tom Brokaw. Changing China. The Chinese judicial system. It relies on a vast network of informants. Tonight on NBC Nightly News.